Okay, welcome everybody, and here's today's question. This time we're going to take a look at a macroeconomics question, which is to do with some data on consumer prices and GDP. So essentially a question about money, GDP, and real GDP. Let's go straight to the question. The graphs below show percentage changes in money GDP on the left-hand side and percentage changes in consumer prices in a country on the right-hand side between the years 2008 and 2010. And then we have the data shown in, in graph format. The question for you to have a go at today is what conclusion can be drawn from these two charts? What conclusion can you draw from the data in the two graphs? This is the moment when we ask you to press the pause button on the video, have a look at the question, have a think about it, and uh, come up with an answer, and then we'll check in a few seconds when you're ready. Okay, so this is a data application question. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have the rate of growth of money GDP. On the right-hand side, the rate of growth of consumer prices. Crucially, everybody, it's not the level of GDP, it's not the level of consumer prices, it's the rate of growth in percentage terms. The correct answer to this question is B. Consumer prices and money GDP both continue to rise throughout the period. Let's look at the explanation for this. First of all, money GDP, that's the value of the output of goods and services nationally measured at current prices. We haven't made an adjustment for inflation sometimes known as nominal GDP, but uh, most of the time people call it money GDP. And uh, the data shows that, uh, crucially, of course, we're looking about the percentage change in two variables, money GDP and consumer prices. And that really is the key to getting this question right, is percentage change. So we can see on the left-hand side that the growth of money GDP was positive throughout the period. Yes, from 2000 and middle of 2008 onwards, the growth of money GDP was slowing down. The economy was heading towards, as we know, a recession. But, crucially, uh, money GDP was still going up, still rising, albeit at a slower rate. There was a deceleration in the rate of growth of money GDP, but it was still increasing. On the, on the right-hand side, likewise, there was a percentage change in consumer prices for inflation rising from 2% to you know four and a half five percent to six percent heading up towards eight percent in 2010 so the level of prices was rising at an increasing rate let's quickly go through the other answers so option a between 2009 and 2010 money gdp fell but consumer prices continued to rise well now on the left hand side money gdp rose in all throughout the entire time period we think b is right c in real terms, GDP grew throughout the period, throughout the period. Well, consider 2010 to challenge that. Money GDP, looking at the data, probably increased by around 5%. You can make a case for saying it's a little lower, but let's say 5 Consumer prices, reading off on the, the right-hand side, they probably increased by about 8%. So money GDP rose by 5%, but there was inflation of 8%. Approximately a 3% fall in real GDP. So real GDP didn't grow throughout the period. Option D, when consumer prices rise, money GDP fell. Well, we've just identified that money GDP did not fall at all. It was always rising. What was happening was that the rate of growth of money GDP was falling. So the correct answer to this question is B. The key, I think, to getting this answer right is to look carefully at the chart and it shows the percentage change in both variables rather than the level. And a lot of students do make a, a confusion between levels and rate of change. So hopefully going through this question will help you to avoid that mistake so you can smash the right answer when it comes up in an exam. Okay, thanks for joining in. Uh, check out our daily question for more tests of your economics understanding.